From CNN London, I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. A conference that could affect the lives of just about everyone on Earth is underway in Copenhagen. From Copenhagen, Phil. Uh, Manisa, what, there had been a growing sense of optimism here in the day or so leading up to the, uh, this uh, conference opening. Uh, in other store, uh, around the world on the streets of Manila, passions are running high over climate change issues. Activists of the Philippine Climate Watch Alliance tried to take a protest to the U.S. Embassy there today, but police in riot gear prevented them from uh, reaching the building. The protesters worry that the U.S. Uh, won't agree to a binding treaty to cut carbon emissions at the Copenhagen summit. Well, we've been uh, monitoring newspapers uh, uh, from around the world to see what they're saying about the summit. Now, this is the, the Guardian newspaper published here in uh, Britain and if you can take a look at the front page and what this is this basically is an editorial that we're going to be seeing and people around the world will be seeing in specifically 45 countries 56 papers in 45 countries are publishing um, this specifically the editorial says in some of the paragraphs we call on the representatives of the 192 countries gathered in Copenhagen to not to hesitate not to fall into dispute not to blame each other but to seize opportunities from the greatest failure of politics, this should not be a fight between the rich world and the poor world, or between East and West. Climate change affects everyone and must be solved by everyone. Well, of course, you too can follow the live climate change debate at the official and we'll webcast be in Copenhagen all week for the UN Climate Summit. CNN's Becky Anderson leads our team of correspondents looking at all the key issues. Let's take a look at the international weather picture now. Mari Ramos is at the World Weather Center. And Mari, uh, for the last five minutes, the song has been in my head. It's called Let It Snow. But I think for people <laughs> living in Calgary and other parts of the U.S. are thinking, no, no, no more snow. No, no. You know what? I think we're going to make you feel a little homesick here talking about the U.S. and Canada. Monica. Mari, thank you very much. And drink some wine because wine lovers, if you're out there, take note. One of the most famous restaurants in the world is clearing out its cellar. La Tour d'Argent is in Paris, is auctioning 18,000 bottles this Monday with... I'm Monita Rajpal in London. World Sport is next.